Hey folks, thanks for tuning in today for another video. I thought I'd do a quick little um, loadout, a gear loadout for you. I'm going to do a three night, uh, two day uh, camping trip down at my camp uh, this weekend, uh, starting tonight. And uh, so I thought I'd do a quick loadout video for you, and then we'll do the, the actual camp video will be in a separate video. So let's go through it. So the pack, starting out with the pack, I'm using my Helicon Tex Matilda pack. I did a previous review of that. Go check it out. Awesome pack. As you can see on the bottom there, I got my Thermarest. Obviously, my Hill People Gear kit bag. I don't leave home without it generally. Got a tourniquet down there, the um, Soft T tourniquet. Coming down to some tools and stuff. I have, I'm using this uh, Alpha Outpost hatchet to come in the Reaper box. I'm also going to take my uh, my Wetterlings axe as well. I uh, got the, using the Geotech knife still. Badger Claw Leatherworks dump pouch using it. I've got a. Um, folding saw that came out of the torch box from Alpha Outpost. Just got some tinder over here, some tinder from the Alpha, one of the Alpha Outpost boxes of torch, and then some of this waxwood stick I'm checking out from Production Hanger 51. So I'm going to be using that for some fires. So that's pretty much the tools and whatnot. So the sleeping system. Tonight is, um, what, we're, what I'm going to do tonight is, we've got a bushcraft night uh, with Georgia Bushcraft down at one of the local um, Outfitter stores uh, in Athens, Georgia, and uh, so we'll be there tonight. So what I'm going to do tonight? Tonight I'm going to sleep on my on my raised bed at my camp, and then tomorrow night I'm going to do a tarp shelter. Uh, I got some buddies coming over, and we're going to do um, tarp shelters. So kind of more bushcrafty. So anyway, for tonight, the weather tonight is supposed to be 30, 28 to 30 degrees. So what I'm using today, or in the world for the whole weekend, I'm using my military uh, MSS sleep system. Right now I have the Gore-Tex uh, Outer Bivy and the uh, Black Bag in there. Tomorrow night and Saturday night is supposed to warm up, supposed to be in the upper 40s uh, tomorrow night. And then uh, Saturday night is supposed to be like 50. So I'll take that Black Bag out, bring it back to um, the house and then just use the Green Bag um, or my Snug Pack Jungle Blanket probably with the Gore-Tex Bivy because it's supposed to rain Saturday night. Along with that, have my uh, casualty blanket. Uh, everybody uses those awesome pieces of gear. I've used those for many, many years. Trying out a new, new camp pad. This is from a company called TNH Outdoors. Trying it out. It's an inflatable mattress, so we'll see how it goes. Also got my Climate X pillow there. I haven't used this pillow yet. I picked it up off of uh, Mass Drop for like I don't know. I think it was less than ten bucks. So I haven't used that yet. So I'm looking forward to using that. Uh, there's my stuck snug pack stasha tarp. That's what I'm going to be doing my tarp shelter with um, uh, tomorrow night. Also picked up this friendly Swede mosquito net because the bugs are starting to come out. It's uh, March, so the bugs are starting to come out a little bit. So I did pick up a mosquito net. I didn't have a mosquito net before, so I picked that up from Amazon. So I'm looking uh, to try it out, see how it works out. Let's see, moving along. I uh, just got my small food bag here. I got another uh, food bag I'm just going to be toting down with me because it's got cold foods in it because we're going to do some steaks uh, one night and then I've got eggs, bacon, stuff like that for breakfast and stuff. So that's going to be, I'll just take it down in like a, either a small cooler or another bag and stuff. So just a small bag of food there, you know, with all the essentials in it, coffee, breakfast stuff. Got my frying pan and one of my Wildo um, plates. For eating on so the frying pan is going to come in handy for you know obviously various different things water obviously um, like I said before previous videos I'm fairly close to my house so I don't need a whole lot of water we'll just have to come back up here or I'll take a gallon or two of water down with me just got my uh, Pathfinder bottle um, with a GSI cup got the stove got my Stanley pot and another GSI cup on it and inside my Stanley pot I have my Brunton Raptor stove so if I want to heat up some coffee or something really quick I can do that also have a my military canteen using the Army Tech flashlight for my headlamp and light main lighting. Down here, Yuko candle lantern. Now I've said in previous videos, love that thing, great thing. Also have a couple of uh, adult beverages down here. We have some Bullet Bourbon and um, also some cigars. That's not the cigars that are in there. That's some different cigars that are in there. They just put those in the bag. So I got some cigars. Uh, also have some Buffalo Trace. Bourbon down here. I love Buffalo Trace as well. Uh, I got some five call uh, survival supply paracord as well. And I think that's going to be about it, other than my shotgun and my pistol, which you already know I always carry a gun anyway. So, and then my shotgun. Uh, been hearing the coyotes again a lot lately. 
the river's been down, uh, so they should be. They, although I haven't heard them, seen them cross, they, you know, they could cross if they want. But anyway, not worried about that. So that pretty much is the kit uh, load out for a couple of nights. So I uh, hope it's not a too long of a video for you. I know I kind of went through everything kind of quick. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below, questions or comments or whatnot. And um, so hopefully it's going to be another good trip. I'm looking forward to it. We've been planning this trip, me and a couple of my friends, been planning this trip for several months. But um, so life always gets in the way. So hopefully we're actually going to be able to do it this time. So it's going to be a good trip. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And stay tuned for the um, actual trip video on a separate video. And please like, share, subscribe. Click the little bell button down below and so you get some notifications. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you real soon on another video.